Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this episode we are gonna go through everything new from the Forgotten Saga aka the free Niflheim DLC and let's start with the rewards. So every armor piece and weapon they are costing 50 memories and memory it is currency that you can bring back and use in the main game. The tattoos they are costing 10 each. Most of the decorations are costing 10 each, except the settlement tree that is costing 70, the mount it is costing 95 memories and the raven 70 memories. Just by playing and looting everything that you can in the Four Corners Saga, you will gain some memories. You already might know this by the way, there is no chest or torso piece in the shop, but we are coming to that a little bit later on, but to get it, it is pretty simple actually, all you need to do it is win every boss battle, aka beating the whole game mode at least once. After that and after waking up and coming back into the Ravenstorp in Everall house, it will pop out. So let's see the second cutscene after beating the hell aka the last boss. So now it is the time, if you don't want to see the second cutscene, skip this part and let's move on to the next one in a little bit. Over and over, regardless of the result. Yes, determined. You cannot fight the land itself. Even now, roots reach for you, seeking to expel what does not belong. I made this world. I brought it into being, and no one will bar me from any part of it. You left behind a rotted stump. I nursed it into a dreadful orchard! Also, you might already notice, but I'm using the Drogostol outfit in this battle, and by doing so, you will actually gain a trophy, sacrificial victory, defeat hell with Drogostol outfit equipped in Forgotten Saga. So, if you get there with the Drogostol outfit equipped, yeah, boom, boom, boom. That being said, let's move on to the actual point of this video, so the armor and the rewards for beating the Forgotten Saga and just playing the game mode. So, we are gonna buy everything, after that I will showcase what is what, so stay tuned. But unfortunately, at the first I didn't have enough to buy everything so I had to do a couple more runs let's do that in the meanwhile and let's get back so now we have enough memories to buy basically everything and after we are getting out of the loading screen or out of the shop we are gonna see a pop-up for the torso piece or the chest piece of the dead yarl missing piece that wasn't in the shop so it should come after beating the game at least once and boom 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 there we go the chest piece it is ours also i highly recommend of going into the ubisoft connect because there is free 50 opals for the secret plot festival and into the helix store we are having a new pack the four quarter saga ultimate bundle so basically permanent boosters or permanent favors also for the in-game we are having wild boar and short short to our use the wild boar, it is pretty much themed after the Four Gordon Saga, the first boss fight. And the sword sword, it is just looking amazing. But still, I don't recommend of buying this bundle. Because Four Gordon Saga, it is pretty beatable and pretty easy in the end of the day. And like I said before, the pro tips for that one, how you can cross the Four Gordon Saga game mode, that video, it is coming in near future. But let's take a look of the gear, shall we? So, let's start with the gear set. The 2 set perk for the Dead Yard. It is increased evasion when equipped, bonus plus 20 evasion. Whole set bonus, aka the 5 set bonus, damage received is reduced by 50% and damage dealt is increased by 40% when under 30% health. That is actually working and we are gonna take a deeper look into the damage making little bit later on in this video. Now let's see the add gear. The perk for this weapon damage received is reduced by 5% when equipped. Gain on 5% extra damage reduction on a finisher. Duration 25 seconds. And this is by the way 
evil twin of the Gangnir, as the description of this weapon says. Moving on to the bow, Bora, so the perk it is exactly the same as for the add gear, only difference it is the threshold or the trigger for the bonus. For the bow it is headshot or weak spot hit. Last but not least we are going to take a look of the shield and I mean come on this shield it is just a unique hellbone shield, same perk but the perk is activated on block or parry. So yeah, pretty cool looking set, pretty cool looking weapons, don't you think, let me know in the comments down below. Also, at this point I really would appreciate a like for this video, so this video to spread to more people in YouTube, so thank you. So yeah, the whole set it is awesome, black chain mail, silvery bony structure and the blue glowing gems here and there are just making this looking even more awesome. But unfortunately, upgrading this to divine, well, there is no change except it is divine and it can be upgraded a couple more levels, the visual look will still remain the same. Nevertheless, it is cool as it is and it can be really powerful. Just watch this Swamp Witch battle, first at over 30% health and after below 30% health, there is huge difference in damage making. The coming battle would not be easy, but I knew my strength would be equal to the task. Mm. I feel great.
So, there we go. Pretty useful set. Pretty awesome looking set. But moving on to the tattoos. This has to be one of my favorite tattoo sets. And definitely the head tattoo. It is the crown jewel of this set. What you think of these tattoos? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, these are free. Only costing 10 memory seats. Pretty cool. Also, the new mount and the new raven. They are looking sick. But just like the game mode. These are also free, just costing memories, in-game currency that you can earn just by playing the new game mode. So, any thoughts, any opinions, what you would like to see in the future, what you are thinking about the Forgotten Saga game mode, are you hating it, are you loving it, let me know in the comments down below. Also, huge shout out to Elite Wolfpack aka the members of the channel, you guys are awesome. The list. Of the members will go on if you want to be there there's a join button below this video but for now we are gonna wrap this out and vikings sealed maidens remember to stay hydrated and let's roll the outro thanks for watching Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.